How do followers and viewers? So, yes, the thumbnail on this. Tiso Tea Touch for 150 quid. Well, kind of clickbait. I know. I apologise. However, technically it was. Now, you see, I have a boss at work who loves watches like me. And he bought himself a titanium Tiso Tea Touch. This he bought himself. It had the orange rubber deployment um, strap on it, which he didn't have on it. Um, now, here's the thing. He didn't want it anymore, so he gave it to me. What a lovely boss. Gosh, I'll tell you what, he's given me a load more, actually, for my channel. <clears throat> now, they are vintage, but they are nice because I will be doing something quite interesting with all of them. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, so... This basically cost me 150. Why? Well, I got the watch head for free. Full stop. It came with the boxes and papers and everything else. Hey, who am I to complain? Um, and then over Crimbo, I went to watch.co.uk and plugged in said model number. Bought the strap, oddly enough, over Christmas. Um, at a peak time when COVID was kicking in everywhere around the world. Stupid, I know, but never mind. But you know what? Their shipping showed me everything. This thing came via DHL. 150 quid to my door. The strap, that is. It has been uh, shortened. I needed to take three links out of this because I have a 17 centimetre rest. Now, this is a bit of a chunk. It is, well, well, I can measure it a few different ways, but I would theoretically measure it just underneath the bezel because the bezel does pop out a little bit, but if we measure it underneath the bezel. Okie dokie, there we go. And we are 42.8. Pretty much. There you go, 43. Not a bad, not, not a bad number. Well, it depends on whether you're 43. But, you know, look at that, 43. It is a wide watch. It is certainly wider than the Glamour Double Date that I've got. Width-wise or thickness-wise, we are talking 14.8, 14.9. It's quite tall, I'll give it that. And zoom out just a tad so we can see. Lug-to-lug, -lug. there are two lug-to-lug -lug measurements I'm going to give you here. Ones that you need to bear in mind if you come across one of these. Technically, lug-to-lug, -lug, you're looking at 52.3, right? Say 52, but you can't. The reason being is because... This metal strap doesn't come down all the way, all right? It doesn't snap straight in. It actually pokes out a little bit because of these two bits here, okay? And therefore, you really need to be looking at a lug-to-lug -lug of 57, all right? It's a chunk. However, this does only weigh about 120 grams, and considering the size of it, it ain't bad. Now, strap-wise, it's all right, okay? It's okay. It, it's all right. It's got the usual... I've, I've, I've had a Tiso C-Star that sounded like that. I'll put it on my wrist now so you can see what it looks like on my 17-centimetre wrist. It's all sized up for me. This is my weekend fun watch, but I had that with a C-Star. Really annoying, but never mind. Um, and, it, and it's okay... And it's nice. If it wasn't for the fact that this thing was weighed as light as a feather, then I probably wouldn't have ventured putting it on it. I used to have it on a on a NATO strap. Um, but hey. Now this has got the carbon fibre dial. These do glow in the dark and quite nicely. They glow forever. But you know, you'll get a good 20 minutes out of it. Nice little row of tea on here. So you can basically hold on to that whilst pressing all the buttons. There are many and many, many videos on YouTube on what to do with this and what functions and how to set things up. Look at those like I did. I won't go through them because people have already done them. But we'll go through the, the, the touching of the glass and everything else. So we'll, we'll do that, okay? You can't currently get these out of Tiso. They've gone out of stock and for some time. But what you do get is a very nice metal clasp. Look at that, it's really nice. There is, for some or no reason, an extension. Don't quite know why you'd put an extension on something that's labelled an outdoor venture watch, but maybe you would put it outside your 
your coat if you wanted to measure the temperature. So this has a number of things going for it, okay? Now, it has tactile scratch resistant sapphire crystal, and this does have an anti-reflecting coating on it. And in the daytime, this is really quite amazing. Really like it, absolutely love it. Um, movement wise, it is an ETA 48.331. Is it accurate? Damn right it is. I tell you, I've, I've had this thing for a year and it, it's, it's about three seconds out, basically. Um, it's a five and a half inch caliber. It's got hours, minutes, seconds, dates, etc. Takes a CR2032 battery, dash N, apparently. Um, you can easily change that yourself, all right? But, word of advice, when you change the battery on this and you get the EOL indicator on here, you need to do one vitally important thing. Now, I will wake this up, which is the whole thing that I love about this watch. It's a bit sort of um, longing. You know, when you pull the crown and longing, it goes to sleep and goes, well, oh, yours will go to sleep. This does exactly the same. Now. I have the date down here. You can set this various different ways, okay? Press this and press the middle bit and you have 10.51, okay? Which is an hour ahead with time one. Time two, 11.52. That's actually tomorrow morning for somewhere else that I keep track of. I've got this as my sort of third time zone here. Then you have options. There are various options. But let me just press this once more. You go back to the date, okay? Meteo is barometer, ups and downs, altimeter, 510 meters. Yeah, I'm about 510 meters above sea level. Oh, up, down, up, down. Chrono, usual, start, stop, reset, split. An alarm, which is currently off. Thermo. 29 degrees in my house. It's a bit warm, isn't it? It's lovely. It's lush. It's brilliant. Burn the gas. Um, now, what we said, centre of the dial. If you go to option, press that again, you will have the ability of changing your 24 hours and centimetres as your modes of measurement. You can have beeps on or off when you touch the glass and you have sleep. Now, what I, and, and then you got no set. What I would say is when you change the battery, stick it in sleep mode, okay? Freezes everything down, shuts everything off, all the stuff turns to the top. Pop, all right? then change the battery. It's a fiddly process, change the battery. If you are very, very wanting to take this thing outside and make sure it's still water resistant, go somewhere to get it done where they can test it. This is apparently 100 meters water resistant. I've changed the battery in this. I'm never gonna use it in a water pond or anything, you know, pfft, why would I? Um, so to give you another view of that, take it into sleep mode, especially if you're like me, and you rotate your watches because it will save the battery because it's running this and running that and running everything else. So, middle button, one beep. Press one, two, three. Get to options. Press middle button. Press one, two. Sleep mode. Best thing you'll ever do if you rotate your watches. Other than that, it's really nice, it's really light. I wear it for the weekends. Do I like it? Yeah. It cost me 150 quid. Why wouldn't I like it? Um, do I like the bigger one? The bigger, oh God, the new one is just too big. I like the style of it, but on my wrist, it's too big. I seriously wouldn't wear this if you had a smaller wrist than 17 because these lug profiles will come off. And it, you've got to have a fairly big, chunky wrist um, sleeve to get this over okay but it's nice and it's great there's your down the barrel shop look at that so yeah lovely great wonderful light and there you have it any questions whizzing below catch you later enjoy have fun